Welcome, this is David Brook from AIPT. Uh, we have a review of the Spider-Man Legends 2 series, Moon Knight. Um, we just got this. It's still for pre-order at most sites, but we were lucky enough to nab an early copy. Um, so let's get started. So first of all, look at the packaging. I like the side pictures here of Moon Knight here. It looks like they're identical, but nice little touch. The back is... Uh, gives you a little information on uh, Moon Knight himself, as well as all the characters in the series. Obviously, the Build-A-Figure is the Vulture um, wings, but uh, really excited to open this figure because it's the new Moon Knight from uh, Jeff Lemire's run. Actually, no, Warren Ellis's run. And, um, yeah, let's open this. So... Packaging is ooh, packaging is the same for this Legends from the Legends uh, series for the last couple of years, couple of waves. So right off the bat, you'll notice that Moon Knight is really in there because his cape is holding him back to this tight window. So you're gonna want to grab the cape, kind of pull it through this hole. So now that we got them out of the packaging, looks like we have a couple moons that he can uh, hold or throw, and then obviously a stick to fight with, and two different hands. These look like fists, because he's got open hands uh, to grab the moons, the moon uh, orangs, you might call them. And then you take out the plastic that's holding him. Pretty simple Moon Knight symbol in the back. That's kind of nice touch, even though it's simple. And then the wing for Vulture. Got a nice hinge. A lot of detail in the wing. And a nice paint job, too. Of course, you're going to need to get all of the figures in order to build these wings up. All right, let's open these fists. As you can see, it all just kind of pops out if you push. Ooh, this piece of tape, though, keeping the moons in. Ooh, they kind of stick to the tape. Well, that's a nice little. That way, you don't. They don't just fly off. They're very thin. Plastic. Ooh, they're very tiny. You could lose these really easily. Um, there's a bit of an edge to it. You can see right there. It gives it a little bit of a depth. And it's pretty strong. It's not going to bend really easily. It bends back to where it was. That includes the little ones, too. Alright. <laughs> and I just lost a moon. Alright, that's back. Okay. And then the fists. Uh, unfortunately, this one has a bit of a bad paint job on the thumb. The white kind of bled into the, the foam. Good detail in the knuckles, though. Look how they pop out. That's pretty good. Paint job is similar to this one. The thumb is a little bit white. There's a nice, like, they like glued a piece of moon to his back of his fist there. So it's not just paint, it's also like a piece of plastic. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's look at the figure. So, he's got the body type of, I'm familiar with this, um, it's the, similar to all the newer Legends series, he's got a uh, sort of a ribcage uh, place to bend, he's got the double hinged knees, and there's good movement in the ankle, there's a ball there. And the wrists are actually kind of interesting because if, if you can see, they don't bend the usual way. They actually go up and down, as you can see there. Whereas these fists bend in the conventional way. So the cape is pretty good. It's it's pretty hard plastic, so it's not gonna 
You're not going to be able to pose it really, but it's always going to look pretty straight. So when you pose them, it's not going to necessarily want to go that way, but standing wise, it actually helps them stand up. And it's actually a separate piece as you can see here. The, uh, the top of his cape is part of the head mold. Looks like you might be able to... No, I don't think you can take this off. It's actually glued pretty good on the back of his head. Not that you'd want to. <clears throat> the interesting thing about this figure is you can see the, the shoulders, the uh, forearms, and then even like the moons on his hands are all glued pieces on this part here on his ankle. All glued on. And they're really sturdy on there. Can't get them off. And that includes the chest piece too. It moves a little. Might be able to pop that out actually, it looks like. But it's a separate piece. That includes the back here, which has a peg hole at the back. But then also, these parts on his uh, waist are all glued in. Pretty, pretty much in there. So instead of paint job, they kind of just glued pieces onto a black figure. Kind of a neat thing. And then if you look closely, his eyes are blue light blue. And there's some nice detail on his face. Really nice detail on his face. And then you've got the conventional superhero muscles all around, including the thigh muscles and not a lot of detail in the butt, <laughs> if you're into that. And then his... he's got the double joint for the arms. And um, he's got some pretty good movement, even though there's this extra piece here. Pretty good movement up and down here. And pretty good movement here. He's pretty. He's a pretty thick character, though. Uh, unlike Spider-Man, who's very thin, this is a bulkier character. I don't know if that's something you're not into or not, but so overall, this is a pretty cool character um, or action figure. This is... So overall, this is a really cool action figure. Um, it's different with these uh, plastic pieces that are glued on. It's the there's a light, nice detail in the nose and the mouth. You can tell it's like a mask. The eyes are really haunting, which is great for this character. And um, the feet have like a sneaker kind of look, which is kind of a newer thing you're seeing more with uh, styles of characters. But uh, overall, some great detailing, especially in the top of the mask. You can see there's a seam, as if it's a real mask. And he looks pretty badass, I have to say. And then clearly this is the baton that actually came with the Daredevil. Last year's Legend series. Overall, a good figure, I think, and definitely worth 20 bucks.